Hi, my name is George, and in this video, we're diving into a comprehensive comparison of Hostinger versus GoDaddy, the two of the biggest hosting providers. Now, if you've been searching for the right hosting provider and can decide between these two giants, well, stick around. We'll break down every single detail. From pricing and performance to ease of use, security, and customer support, this comparison will surely help you out. By the end, you'll know exactly which one is the best fit for your needs. Before we get started, a quick disclaimer, some links in the description are affiliate links, which means that I may earn a small commission if you make a purchase through them at no extra cost to you. Now, let's dive in. To begin with, who are these providers best for? Hostinger and GoDaddy are both well-established hosting providers, each with decades of experience. However, their offerings cater to slightly different audiences. Hostinger is ideal for small to medium-sized projects such as personal blogs, small business websites, and medium traffic platforms. GoDaddy, on the other hand, focuses on offering a wide variety of hosting plans, making it better for users looking to scale their operations or those who need a one-stop shop for domains and hosting. Hostinger stands out for its affordability and feature-rich plans, while GoDaddy appeals to users who prioritize scalability and speed. Let's dive deeper into how they compare across various aspects. Now, let's talk about pricing, which offers better value. When it comes to pricing, Hostinger emerges as the clear winner. Hostinger's shared hosting plans start at just $2.49 per month, making it one of the most affordable providers on the market. GoDaddy's entry-level shared hosting plan economy costs significantly more at $4.99 per month. Hostinger's cheapest plan, Premium, provides an impressive set of features. Hosting for up to 100 websites, 100 email accounts, unlimited SSL certificates. Now, in comparison, GoDaddy's economy plan allows for hosting just one website, includes one email account, and provides one SSL certificate but only for the first year. The pattern continues with other hosting types. Hostinger's entry-level VPS plan starts at $4.99 per month, while GoDaddy's equivalent plan costs almost double at $8.99 per month, offering fewer resources like RAM and storage. Now, both providers offer a 30-day money-back guarantee, but it's important to note that the low advertised prices are only available for long-term commitments. Renewal rates for both providers are higher, but follow industry standards. So the winner is Hostinger. It offers more features at a fraction of GoDaddy's cost, making it the better choice for budget conscious users. Now, what about performance, the uptime, speed, and traffic handling? Performance is critical when choosing a hosting provider, and both Hostinger and GoDaddy deliver solid results. However, Hostinger takes the lead overall, uptime and response times. Hostinger boasts an impressive 100% uptime during a two-month testing period, with no outages. Its average response time was 175 milliseconds, well below the industry standard of 600 milliseconds. GoDaddy also performed admirably, achieving 99.98% uptime during the same period with just 16 minutes of total downtime. Its average response time of 179 milliseconds is slightly slower than Hostinger's, but still excellent. Website speed. Now, in terms of website loading speed, GoDaddy edges out Hostinger slightly. GoDaddy's largest contentful pane, LCP, was 1.417 seconds, compared to Hostinger's 1.728 seconds. Both speeds are excellent, of course, falling well below Google's recommended threshold of 2.5 seconds for SEO optimization. Server locations. Hostinger has a clear advantage when it comes to server locations, with nine data centers across the globe, including Europe, Asia, and South America. GoDaddy's servers are more limited, with only three locations, the US, Netherlands, and Singapore. Traffic stress testing. Both providers handle traffic surges well, but Hostinger's performance was slightly better. During tests with 50 virtual users, Hostinger maintained a stable response time with no failures, while GoDaddy showed minor fluctuations. And so the winner is Hostinger. While GoDaddy has slightly faster website speed, Hostinger's flawless uptime, broader service locations, and better traffic handling make it the overall winner. 
All right, our next area to review is the ease of use, including the dashboards and control panels. Both Hostinger and GoDaddy prioritize ease of use, but they take slightly different approaches. Hostinger shines with its custom-built H panel, while GoDaddy relies on the traditional C panel. Hostinger's H panel is clean, intuitive, and beginner-friendly. It organizes tools into categories like hosting, performance, security, and emails, making navigation straightforward. Features like WordPress installation, SSL activation, and account management are easily accessible. GoDaddy uses the industry standard cPanel, which is functional, but less beginner friendly. Its technical layout can feel overwhelming for new users, although experienced users may appreciate its familiarity. Extras. Hostinger includes additional features like staging environments, which allow you to test website changes in a safe space before going live. GoDaddy offers similar features, but limits them to higher tier plans. And so the winner is Hostinger. Its intuitive H panel and thoughtful extras make it the better choice for beginners and those looking for ease of use. Now let's talk about security, features, and transparency. Hostinger outshines GoDaddy with its robust feature set and transparency. SSL certificates. Hostinger includes unlimited SSL certificates with all plans while GoDaddy only provides one SSL certificate with its entry-level plan, and only for the first year. Backups. Hostinger offers weekly backups for its cheapest plan and daily backups for higher tier plans. GoDaddy includes daily backups across all plans, giving it a slight edge in this specific area. DDoS protection. Hostinger uses a free content delivery network to mitigate DDoS attacks, while GoDaddy claims to offer 24-7 DDoS protection, but provides fewer details about the implementation. Unique features. Hostinger includes a WordPress vulnerability scanner, which alerts users to potential security risks in WordPress plugins and themes. GoDaddy doesn't offer this feature. And so the winner is Hostinger. Its robust security features and transparency make it the clear choice for users who prioritize safety. Next. How does their customer support perform? The availability and quality. Both providers offer extensive customer support options, but Hostinger has a slight edge in reliability. Hostinger provides 24 seven support through live chat, a ticketing system and an AI powered chatbot. While live chat wait times can occasionally be a few minutes, agents are knowledgeable and helpful. Hostinger also boasts a vast knowledge base with detailed articles. GoDaddy offers 24 seven support via live chat, phone, and text messaging. However, response times during live chat were slower in my test and agents occasionally required follow-ups to provide clear answers. Like Hostinger, GoDaddy has an extensive knowledge base. And so the winner is Hostinger. While both providers offer solid support, Hostinger's faster response times and more reliable agents give it a slight edge. Lastly, let's delve into their features, Hostinger management and web builders. Hostinger goes the extra mile with features like automatic website migration, AI powered tools for content generation and design, staging environments, account sharing for collaborative projects. Its web builder is user friendly with drag and drop functionality and over 150 templates to choose from. It's ideal for beginners and small businesses. On the other hand, GoDaddy offers a web builder that's slightly more limited in customizability. It's geared towards small businesses with tools for email marketing, social media integration, and e-commerce. However, its template selection is much smaller with only 20 options. And so the winner is Hostinger. It offers more features, better customizability, and a broader range of templates. So. After evaluating pricing, performance, ease of use, security, customer support, and features, it's clear that Hostinger is the overall winner. It delivers exceptional value for money, a user-friendly interface, robust security, and excellent performance. GoDaddy, however, remains a strong contender. It's a great choice for users who prioritize scalability, need advanced marketing tools, or prefer cPanel for hosting management. And don't forget that if you would like to sign up to either Hostinger or GoDaddy, you can use my links down in the description of this video. Thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one.